What's going on guys? Welcome to Bake It with AJ. I'm AJ and we're making the most amazing gluten and dairy-free chocolate cupcakes you will ever have. Yes, that's right. Gluten and dairy-free and I kid you not, you cannot even tell. As a matter of fact, I actually like these better than regular chocolate cupcakes, if that was even possible. This recipe came from my mom. She is opening a bakery here in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, which is where I currently am in her amazing kitchen. The recipe can be found using the link in my description below. So go check that out. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button so you can come back every Wednesday and check out my new episodes. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get started. First off, I have a cupcake tray lined with my cupcake liners and my oven preheated to 350 degrees. This recipe makes a perfect dozen, which is great. Now in a measuring cup, I have a half a cup of vegetable oil that I am out adding a third of a cup of cocoa powder and three ounces of bittersweet chocolate chips. You wanna stir this and then microwave it in about 20 second intervals until the chocolate is completely melted and then set it aside to cool. So melting the cocoa powder and the oil together blooms it, meaning it lets the flavor develop. So it tastes really chocolatey when you put it into the batter. Now in a large bowl, I have three quarters of a cup of a gluten-free all-purpose flour blend that I'm adding three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. You just wanna whisk all of this together until it is nicely combined and set it aside. Now when it comes to gluten-free all-purpose flour, I really like this King Arthur flour measure for measure. It uh, works really well and you really can't tell the difference and the ratios are the same, which is amazing. Now this all-purpose flour blend has xanthan gum included in it. So if you do not have xanthan gum in this all-purpose flour, you will need to add it manually a half a teaspoon because that is what's gonna help these cupcakes rise like they would with normal flour. Now in a separate bowl, I have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar with two large room temperature eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You just wanna whisk all of that together and then pour in your cooled melted chocolate mixture. Look at that slow motion there. And then after mixing that, you're gonna add in a half a cup of almond milk, mix again, and then add in your dry flour blend and just whisk all this together until it is nicely combined. Now you wanna divide this evenly throughout your cupcake tray. You don't wanna fill these much more than halfway full. That'll get you a perfect size cupcake. Once you're done dividing them, just give the tray a little shake and you wanna bake this at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. Your time may vary depending on your oven, but you'll know they're done when a toothpick or a cake tester comes out clean. And then you wanna set these aside to cool. You really need to let these cupcakes cool, especially because we're going to fill them. You don't want this to melt out everywhere into a gross white creamy mess. <laughs> what? Now for the frosting, I'm using this Country Crock plant-based butter to keep things dairy-free here. This stuff is amazing. It comes in sticks and I cannot tell the difference in frosting. So I have two room temperature sticks that I'm beating until it's soft, light, and fluffy. I'm adding a couple teaspoons of vanilla extract, mixing again, and then adding confectioner sugar and half cup additions until you get your desired level of sweetness. You wanna mix in each half cup before you add the next. I used about mm, two cups here. Now I'm just going to use a piping bag with a small round tip to pipe this vanilla frosting into the center of each cupcake for a nice little surprise. It just takes them to the next level. And then with the rest of the frosting, you can add a tablespoon of cocoa powder, incorporate that, and then pipe that on top. If you wanna keep it vanilla, you totally can, but I like the contrast of vanilla to chocolate here. It just really makes these cupcakes stand out. And that's it, folks. If you want to top these with some chopped Heath bar or leave them as is, you can't go wrong. But oh my goodness, these are something from a dream. Come on. I mean, you cannot even tell the difference. And it looks like an ordinary cupcake, but then... Mm, it's just like mind blown. You would be silly not to try these. 
The recipe is on my website. The link is in the description below, along with the links to all of my other social media. Please give this video a thumbs up because this is amazing and you should definitely try it, especially if you have allergies, gluten, and dairy-free. Hello. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, what you want to see, how you're feeling today. Hit the subscribe button and join me next Wednesday for another episode of Bake It with AJ. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you next time. This is like probably the best cupcake I've ever had. Oh my God.